Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. We are gonna talk about cars. We're gonna talk about car sales, but primarily today we're gonna to be talking about car auctions. We're gonna be talking about bring a trailer. We're gonna talk about the sales this last year. Phenomenal sales growth when it comes to cars, especially when we're talking about collector cars. Now it's interesting because collectors and collections hold a totally different type of cycle. When it comes to economic cycles and when it comes to uh, inflation and deflation, collections and collectibles have a totally different rhythm, a different flow, if you will. And so we're gonna go over that. There's a news story out of CNBC I wanna cover with you guys, and that is online car market, bring a trailer, closing out year with record $1.35 billion in sales. It says right here, online car market, bring a trailer says, it expects to close out the year with a record 1.35 billion in sales as a new generation of collectors log on to buy classic and pre-owned cars. Randy Nodenberg, Bring a Trailer's co-founder and president told CNBC that sales for the year are up 63% from 2021 when sales hit $829 million. The San, Francisco's, uh, San Francisco company's website has made it easy for collectors to buy and sell cars online and attracted a flood of young car traders during the COVID pandemic, selling everything from seven-figure Ferraris to $60,000 Corvettes and $15,000 sobs. Yes, it's funny, they say $60,000 Corvettes, and you and I both know Corvettes are going for much, much more than $60,000. Now, one thing I wanna note is that we're talking about this year, and this year has had all kinds of ups and downs when it comes to supply chains, to, to uh, people's uh, exuberance, and now lack thereof, of the economy. So it's interesting to look back and say, had a gangbuster year. But I've been doing videos about the car market and about auto uh, auctions and how they're starting to wane. We saw the Meacham numbers come out in September and October and they were completely abysmal, month over month declines. And so we're starting to see the market for not only new and used normal cars, but also collector cars are gonna start to change, are gonna start to evolve. The consumer, the people that were normally di diving onto these websites, felt good about the economy, but how do they feel now? That's gonna be very interesting. Let me dive in a little bit longer. It says, while Bring a Trailer, which is was acquired by Hearst Autos in 2020, has disrupted the traditional business of buying and selling collector cars, traditional classic car auction companies like Meekum, uh, RM Sotheby's, and Gooding & Co. also had strong years in 2022. Haggerty, the classic car insurance company, also entered into auction businesses, or the auction business, buying Broad Arrow and launching Haggerty Marketplace, an online sales platform. Now that is totally normal and typical of a boom in a cycle, whether it be homes, autos, anything. Towards the end of the cycle is when you see the most growth. Why? Because institutions, investors, Business owners see opportunities because it's all around them. People are buying up these cars left and right. As a matter of fact, the replica uh, Cobra market right now is still hot, but it's actually different because as fast as those things were hitting the market, like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, things like that, and they were selling in a matter of days or weeks, now I'm seeing the exact same cars sitting on the market for three months. That's interesting. I also talked to a Cobra owner uh, that I wanted to buy one. We made an offer and he goes, I would be taking a $30,000 loss on this car. If I took your offer, I'd be willing to take a $25,000 loss though. That literally happened in November. The fact of the matter is things are starting to slow. And even though we see this story out of CNBC saying that uh, bring a trailer had a record year of 1.35 billion. The question is when was the most sales done for that company? And I would argue that it happened mostly in the first and second quarters. We have seen consistent downturns in third and fourth quarter sales, not only in this market, but other markets as well. Why? Because the consumer is starting to get tapped out. Inflation is too much. And next is the psychological change that the consumer goes through when they think, holy cow, something's wrong with the economy. So maybe I shouldn't be going out and buying things I can't afford. Or maybe I'll wait, and we're seeing this already in real estate, let's wait and let's maybe we'll get a better deal. Something else will happen. 
So if you think about it that way, then that's pretty good. Well, I better stop the video because we got a tour going on. So with that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.